Hello, automation and robotics students. It's Mr. Osborne. I'm going to walk you through this test bed assignment. Uh, so, what we are trying to do in this assignment is create a platform on which we can test our programming skills. So, this guy you see right here, this is our platform. We build this, it's got a cortex, it's got two motors, it's got a switch, it's got a battery. We can build that and then we can program it. On your checklist you're going to have five things that you need to make it do. So for instance make both motors run forward at the same time then stop. The next one is have one motor run forward while the other runs backward and then stop. So just some basic and then up to a little more complicated uh, programs that you are going to have to write using Robot C. So this guy right here. That's what we're going to use to write these programs. The test bed assignment on Canvas uh, walks you through how to build it. I give you some some info uh, about the motors, battery straps, where to plug in um, your your switch and your motors and your battery that kind of thing. And then down here it says now let's program. So it wants us to open Robot C. And then if we look at it again, step two, open a new file. I'm going to click new file. Step three, click on the robot tab. And what I want you to do in the robot tab is uh, switch it to natural language. So robot platform type natural language. Make sure that's what it's on. Update the firmware. So this is when you need to grab your USB cord. How you plug it in and how you turn on the battery uh, is very important. So first you plug the USB into the Cortex and then you turn on the Cortex and then you put the USB into the computer and then you select autom autom automatically update VEX Cortex click OK, update happens, then finish by clicking OK. Uh, step six, motors and sensors set up. So what you need to do, what you are doing in this step is you are telling, you're telling the computer where you've plugged in your motors and sensors. When you build your robots in the final part of this class, you might not use two motors. You might only use one motor. Um, then, you, for instance, if you put it in port 1, you would say only motor. Then you would change the type to VEX393. With the test bed, though, you are using two motors. So you can say right motor in port 1 and left motor in port 10. You might build a robot that has four motors. And then you would have right motor, uh, left motor, uh, drive motor, um, you know, pulley motor things like that. So we have 10 ports. We could technically have 10 different motors. What you're going to do is make sure you change these because you have to tell it the type. So you have to give it a name. You can name it whatever you want and it will work as long as you program it correctly. And then you have to tell it the type of motor. Click apply. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to tell it that you plugged in a bump switch. So. Uh, you can call it a bump switch, you can call it a touch switch, it's kind of up to you. You can name it Kevin if you want. It'll still work as long as you do your programming correctly. So type of sensor is a touch and click apply, say OK. So it is ready to go. What you want to do right now is hit compile program. It's going to ask you where you want to save it if you just click desktop and you hit save then you will save yourself a lot of different clicking um, I actually don't want you to save it and keep it you just need to save it when you compile it just needs a place to go 
um, every day you're going to be setting these these programs up so everyone in your group needs to get good at uh, doing the motor and sensor setup as well as making sure it's on natural language and those just general setup things because I want everyone to be an expert at programming so what we can do after that is begin to put in our code so I will make a second video that shows me entering some of the different code options we have start motor we have until touch that we will be using and then we also use wait times so start motor stop motor wait time and until touch are the only commands and I'll show you how to drag and drop those and I'll also show you how to uh, create a while loop in the second video so thanks for watching and make sure you go to the next video to learn how to do the actual programming.